Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geek Element Development and welcome to our Xcode tutorials. And in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to change the background color using a UI picker. Now already in the simulator, an example of what we're creating today, we have our simple UI picker at the bottom here. And you can see in here, I have four colors to select from. And once we select one, such as blue, our background color changes to blue. We have green, yellow, and finally red. Now I'm going to be showing you how to create this today, so already my project sets up. It's a simple single view application for the iPhone and I've simply named it Pick a Backgrounds for the purpose of this tutorial. Now this is a great feature for allowing your users to customise the view and instead of giving them like a load of buttons or however you present it, it's nice and easy to like bring up a UI um, picker, displays loads and loads of content, user can select and then it goes away and then changes the background color. So it's a great way of storing a lot of options in one place. So then, so the first thing we need to do is create the outlets for our UI picker. So to do that, we go to our viewcontroller.h and just after the UI view controller, we press space and a bracket and enter. We're gonna create an IV outlet for our picker. So we do IV outlet space UI picker view space asterisk and I'll simply name it picker. And then we need to do a um, new line now. Then we need to do the array for the picker. This will display the content in the UI picker. So ns array space asterisk, and I'll simply name it picker data in that semicolon. Now we need to add the app property and retain both of the IB outlet and the ns array. So we do that symbol property space bracket retain comma, space, non-atomic, and then that with the bracket there. If you just copy that and make two, and then if we copy both our outlet here and paste it at the end of our first um, property, and the NS array on the second one, and there we go. So we can save that and then jump straight into our viewcontroller.m, where just under the implementation here, we need to do at synthesize both our um, properties which our first one's called picker then we do um, comma and the second one picker data and that with a semicolon okay then so now we synthesize them we need to add well when the view loads we need to add our ns array into our picker view so in the view did load here i'll just press enter a few times so you can clearly see what i'm typing out you need to do ns array space asterisk, so I'll name it array, nice and easy, space, equals space, bracket, bracket, ns array again, space, alloc, and after the first bracket there, space, init with objects. Now here will be our at symbol quotation mark, quotation mark, and just end the, with the nil there, the bracket and the semicolon. Now in the quotation mark here will be the first option we have in our UI picker. So if we do it like we did in the simulator, our first option will be red. To add a second option, after the um, comma here, we do a symbol, quotation mark, quotation mark, and another comma. And then we'll simply add our second option in, which will be blue. Repeat the process, and just like in the simulator, I had four options. So we do it, so we have four together, and the third one will be green. And then finally the fourth one, yellow. And after that, we press enter. And then we do self dot picker data space equals space array. And that array semicolon. So basically what we're saying when the view loads, load our NS array into our um, UI picker view. And the picker view is linked up to our picker data, so the picker data will equal the array, which the array is our four um, colours we have selected here. So now that we've done that, we need to add, make a space here so you can clearly see what's typing again. We need to add the number of components in the picker view, uh, then the number of rows in the component, and then we need to add the uh, component for our NS string for the picker view. So we need to add first, let's do dash bracket NS integral there, and that array bracket there. Then we need to do number of com 
component in picker view um, colon bracket UI picker view space asterisk and then in that bracket there we do picker view then we space bracket and enter now in this one we need to do return one and that raise semicolon now next we need to do the picker uh, number of rows in com um, component so again repeat it almost to so do dash bracket and let's integrate again bracket and then we need to do picker view uh, colon bracket UI picker view space asterisk and after that bracket there we need to do picker view again space number of rows in component and then that we do bracket and press enter now here we need to do once again return but in the expression we do bracket picker data space count and then we bracket and a semicolon and now we need to add our ns string so we do dash bracket ns string space asterisk and the bracket there we do picker view again uh, colon bracket ui picker view after the bracket there we do picker view once more space title for row there we go and then we do a space bracket and enter now here we do again our return statement the only expression we need to do that, um, bracket self dot picker data space object at index and in the highlight section here we do row and that we made bracket and a semicolon now that we've done that we need to then finally add our void which we have an error here at the moment let me just quickly see what's going on Oh, we missed out the uh, asterisk there on our picker view, sorry. So make sure after UI picker view there, there is an asterisk. Okay, so after that then, we'll just go to the bottom now where we can add our void statement now for our picker view. So when it's selected one of the contents in the picker view, it would do the action that we want it to do. So again, I'll just enter so you can clearly see what's happening. So do dash bracket void bracket picker view colon bracket UI picker view space asterisk bracket picker view space did select row space bracket and enter. Now we have to create an int. So for every time, well, depending on what one we are selected on, we'll do this certain action that we require it to. So we do int space select, we'll just name it select, space equals space row. And have a semicolon, and then we do an if statement. So basically, if our select int equals equals zero, which will be the first line in our picker view, our first option, which is red. So if it's selected on zero, we're going to want it to self dot view controller. No, sorry, dot view. Sorry, not view controller. View background color space equals space bracket uh, UI color space red color as our first one we're going to select will be the color red as we have it selected up here that'll be the first one in our title so if it equals zero it's going to make the background color go red else if space bracket enter else if and just after the if here we need to do bracket select equals equals one so if it equals one which will be our second one in our array let's paste that in so our second one is the color blue so we do blue color and then repeat that process there so we have four all together and change it so it goes zero one two three this will add up to our four so the second one is our green color and the fourth one is our yellow color. 
Okay, so once we've done that, we can simply save it, jump into our viewcontroller.xib, where we're just going to need to find our UI um, picker view here. So we just drag that in. Now what we need to do is control click or right click and drag it to our files owner. We need to link it up to our data source and also our delegate. Then click on files owner and link up the picker outlet and drag it to our picker view. Once we've done that, I'll just quickly close our simulator here. So then we can build and run and we'll see it working in all its glory. Okay, now once it's loaded, you can see our four um, options here to pick a color are displayed in our picker here. So if you select red, it changes to red, and blue changes to blue, green changes to green, and finally yellow changes to yellow. So that's simply how you change the background color using the UI picker. So I hope this helps in your apps or projects at the moment. If you haven't, make sure you subscribe and also make sure you favourite and like the video as it really does help us out gain a wider audience and more people can learn from our tutorials. Once again, make sure you like and follow us on Facebook and Twitter and check out all our apps just by simply searching Geek Element in the App Store. And most importantly, if you haven't, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you all next time in our next tutorial. Thank you for watching this tutorial by Geeky Lemon Development. Be sure to follow them on Twitter and like them on Facebook. Oh, and check out all of their other tutorials and sample projects on their website, geekylemon.com. But most importantly, please download their awesome iPhone and iPad apps by searching Geeky Lemon on the App Store. And please remember to subscribe.